This jump demonstration will show how to save any part of a jump report window as a high quality graphic file on either Windows or Mac OS. We'll begin on Windows. Start with the graph that you'd like to save. Use the selection tool to highlight all of the parts of the graph that you would like to include in the final image. Then go to Edit and save selection as. If you need to, you can save the graphic in a raster format like PNG or JPEG. If you do, make sure to adjust the image DPI setting upward to ensure a high resolution image. If you're free to select among image types, we recommend using an EMF file, which is a vector graphic format that can be resized without losing quality. Whichever file format you choose, the resulting file can be placed into a document or slide as usual. If you don't require a separate graphic file, you can directly paste your graphic into a document or slide. When pasting into Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, use the Paste Special option and select the Enhanced Metafile so that you can paste a graphic that can be resized without losing quality. There are a couple handy preferences to know about when saving jump graphics. In the Reports group, you'll find an option for setting transparent image backgrounds. And in the Windows-specific group, you're able to specify which graphic formats are placed on the clipboard when you copy an image. To save publication quality graphics on a Mac, start with the graph that you'd like to save, and use the Selection tool to select all of the graph components that you'd like included in the final image. Go to Edit and Copy, and then open Apple's Preview application. Select New from Clipboard under the File menu, and then go to File, Export. If you need to, you can save your image in a raster format, like PNG or JPEG. If you do, you may want to adjust the resolution upward to ensure a high-quality image. If you're free to choose among all the available formats, we recommend using PDF. This will provide a vector graphic that can be resized without sacrificing quality. Whichever format we choose, clicking Save produces a graphic file that can then be placed into a document or slide as usual. Note that if you don't require a separate graphic file, you can directly paste your graphic into your document or slide. If you're using Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, be sure to use the Paste Special option and paste as a PDF to use a vector format that can be resized without sacrificing quality. When saving graphics on Mac, there are a couple important preferences to know about. Under the Reports group, there's an option for setting transparent image backgrounds. And under the Mac OS Settings group, you can specify which image formats are available on the clipboard when you copy an image.